Yo, Scarlett, I should take it off, take it off. <laughs> <laughs> This is Diana, aka Pop Culture Diva 42, and yeah, this is the East European Comic Con that kept me busy for the entire weekend. Shocking as it may be to some people, Bucharest does have its own Comic Con, and it's at second edition. And the biggest change from last year is, of course, the venue. And it was a good change because now you actually had space. You had space to move around, you had air to breathe, you had places where you can take pictures with cosplayers, and that's something that we actually didn't really have last year because the venue was so cramped that you kind of had to necessarily go outside to take a picture with the cosplayer if you wanted to. Another big change is how big the gaming section got because at least log logistically speaking and in terms of space it took up it took up about half of the convention center. And that's kind of understandable because the gaming competition brings in a lot of sponsors and gaming itself is I think is far more popular in Romania than fandoms for television shows or movies. But one of the big uh, big successes of the convention was of course the Iron Throne because people were queuing up like crazy to take pictures on the Iron Throne and it even got taken over by Spartans at some point. We had three actor guests at uh, the East European Comic Con. Uh, Mark Shepard, Jason Momoa, and Natalia Tena. Of the three, Natalia Tena was by far the friendliest and the most enthusiastic to be there. Now, before they had their panels, I heard horror stories about Jason Momoa and Mark Shepard that they're really not very friendly, they're not approachable. Um, when they give autographs or when they take photographs, they will not make you feel like they're happy to be there or they'll not make you feel in any way like, you know, they're friendly. I can only talk about the panels. And they were fine. Mark Shepard was very charismatic, very polite, gave some of the best, most intelligent answers. And Jason Momoa, he swore like a drunk sailor and he drank beer on the stage and he told very amusing stories about his days on the Atlantis set and uh, Game of Thrones set, which I'm sure he's told many times before. But he made everybody feel good and it was fun and entertaining. So despite the problems that there were behind the scenes with the actors and Mark Shepard even on Sunday told us that, you know, somebody actually threatened him in Bucharest on the street. Uh, and that was a scary situation for him. But I appreciated his honesty and I appreciate the fact that he still got up on the stage to ha have a panel after that happened. And my personal pet peeve at this convention is that there weren't enough freaking trash cans and you know how it is at these comic cons you always get flyers and brochures and you don't really want to hang on to them but here you could only put them in your pocket or your bag because there weren't any trash cans around and me myself I actually give a damn about things like that and still in spite of the fact that the venue was a lot bigger there was, there was another problem with the main stage where the seating area in front of it only had a couple of hundred seats and according to media reports there were 16,000 tickets sold for this event. But honestly this weekend was half about the actor panels and half about hanging out with my friends talking about erotic fanfiction and Marvel vs DC. I wish the organizers the best of luck. The venue change was a step in the right direction and I hope that we can have another Comic-Con next year uh, and towards the end of this one I spotted another cosplayer and I just knew that I have to do one last thing before it's all over. <laughs> Thank you.
Ash! Show me your boomstick! <laughs> 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 <laughs>